look, it's really, really, really important for young people to have an opportunity uh, in education and training and development, personal and, and, and even a professional career path that they may want to pursue. But it starts with the basic fundamentals of education. Through being educated and le learning new uh, knowledge, we have a greater view of the world and therefore a greater opportunity to make important life choices. I think it's really absolutely integral for us to have Aboriginal teachers and educators. And I guess not just at a classroom level, but certainly at a system level where we have an opportunity uh, to learn from educated, well-learned and experienced Aboriginal people who share not just their education and, and teaching capability through their teaching capability, but also, also through their cultural and community experiences. It's absolutely critical for, critical for employers to understand not only the cultural elements of an individual and particularly an employee of theirs, but also to actually understand the diversity of both that culture and the cultures that may be within their workforce and most of the Aboriginal people. We need to actually teach our young people and our people and our Aboriginal people to exist and coexist in the two worlds that they actually physically have to exist in. The problem that we've had uh, between employment uh, and uh, social and cultural life, for example, is that our Aboriginal people have stayed strong in their cultural and family existence but have not been trained how to exist in the mainstream employment or education or social uh, scenario. Where we have strong people, I am a firm believer and in my personal life it is my responsibility to learn my culture, to understand my protocols and my responsibilities and to teach my kids about all of those things. But I want to work with schools, I want to work with employer groups, I want to work with the non aboriginal the broader non aboriginal community and society to say, this stuff is important, I want to take responsibility for that, but it's your responsibility to respect and understand it, and also show respect for this other world, which is not your world. My old people said to me, and all of my brothers and sisters, as you know people, we don't want to be Winyar, we don't want to be poor black people. So if you think that you're a poor black man, that's what you're going to be. So believe that you are a magnificent human being and that you belong to a great nation of people and a great line of, of uh, uh, mortal family and bloodline that carries enormous uh, dignity and, and integrity and respect and authority. If you believe those things, then I think you will understand.